Hey guys, hey YouTube. I'm in my closet again and I have a haul of products. Products that did not work and I regret buying. And yeah, this is for me and it's my personal opinion. So yeah, I know some people, everybody's different. Some things don't work for others, some do and blah, 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 blah. And I don't want people thinking, oh, well, it worked for me, so it should to you, you know, like that whole thing. Anyway, let's get into this bad haul of things I regret buying. So I guess I'm going to start with first with hair products. Um, the first thing is definitely these uh, Protect Shield. It's kind of like the Growth Protect version. It's Growth Protect is out there as well. Um, there's several of them. So basically you use this to coat your hair so that glue doesn't get into it. And I really regret buying this stuff. Um, this stuff has something in it that messes up with my hair. I was using it so many times. Like every week I would, you know, do a quick weave and use it. And I noticed that every time I took down my uh, wig or what a uh, wig my u part or whatever um i noticed that my 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 ends were breaking like crazy um so i tested it and basically let it go a month without doing that and i noticed that my hair is coming back to normal as you guys can see in the video mine is actually growing back to where it was so i guess this thing was really messing some chemicals in here you know and these are the chemicals it's messing with my hair i don't know what it is you guys i can't figure it out but when i start my hair is back to normal like my edges are fine I'm, my ends are fine so something is in these products or that's really my hair doesn't like the next one i bought was there was whole this a lot of videos on this herbal essence everybody was going out there buying herbal, herbal essence products and there's some good ones you know like uh hello hydration and all that but this one did not work for me and this is the none of your frizziness uh, shampoo it did nothing my hair was drier than before and i was like i don't know it was just horrible i don't like it and it gave me more frizz actually i didn't really see any difference so that's the other one this one, yes, I'm sorry to put it on the list. And for some people out there going crazy, they love it and everything. And You Love Me Megs did mention that it's similar. But I really still prefer the older formula. Something about this, I don't like how it feels on my hair. But I like the other one better. So something has definitely changed about it. I don't know why. But it feels awkward on my hair. Like when I put it, my hair just feels like I didn't put any moisture in it. Which is weird because the other one does. Every time I put it in, I feel it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to let go of this. I'm going to use all of it, but I will never buy it again. The next one is a smooth and whole pudding that's out there. A lot of people are using it, but this thing gives you flakes like crazy. And really, when my hair is relaxed, I really don't see my edges going down. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it doesn't work as the Eco Styler Gel works. Um, so, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to let this go. I'm not buy even using it because those flakes are just not cool. The other one I did, I have other products and it would take forever to do this video. So I'm just going to forget about it. But this was another thing that I did try on my hair and bleh, it feels, it weighs my hair down and just really does not moisturize well. So I'm going to have to let that go too. Um, the next thing is the supplements with biotin, the hair, skin and nail ones. These broke me out. I mean, I know maybe they work, especially for my nails, but this thing broke me out, especially on my sides. I mean, I had acne like crazy. It just is really not good. Um, so if you break out a lot, you might want to stay away from things with biotin in it. I mean, it's it's out there that it might grow your hair, but, you know, I'm just, no. It was bad. The next thing I had was a perfume that I bought from Charlotte Russe, and it was Refuge Nights. This thing has no scent. Like, when I got home with it and sprayed it, when I sprayed it at the store, I smelled it, but the minute I got home with it, it really had no scent. So I'm like, what is the point? So I don't know if this was sitting on the shelf for quite a while or something, but I don't like this. So stay away from that if you can, you guys. Uh, the next thing is more of a personal thing. And yes, it's a tampon. Boo hoo hoo. But this was a tampon made by Walgreens, their own brand. And I think they tried to copy the OB version. And this thing sucks. And you guys will see if you ever try it. Let me know what your thoughts are. But it sucks. And the size is really awful, if you ladies know what I mean. So stay away from the Walgreens tampons that are compact or whatever. Stay away. Um, the next ones are when I was on a search. Oops, I spilled it. For bronzers, I was looking for something I could just put on on top of my lotion and to have that glow. And these did not work. Um, and this was the Wet n Wild one, Mega Glow. And then this one was the Rimmel London um, bronzer. Failed. Major fail. Um, they just made me look cakier. I mean, I'm already dark skin. I'm, I have dry skin. So you guys can imagine just having that cakiness when I got outside. I didn't like it. 
Um, maybe if I put it on top of my coconut oil that I use now, maybe my skin would have been glowing, but nope. The next ones are kind of like lip products. The first one was the the Wet n Wild Amethyst. I saw the Rihanna wearing rocking some nice shade like this. And I went, of course, and tried it. And this thing looked so horrible on my lips. I didn't know what to say. I took it down and my lips were huge. So I was like, maybe I should try a lighter one, maybe. The next one is EOS. Yes, you guys might get mad at me and say this product is awesome, but it's really not. I've tried this several times and I've noticed that Carmex is still the best. Um, right now I put Carmex, you can see how moisturized it is. But this one moisturizes and you see a little shine. But over a little after a few minutes, your lips kind of start getting dry again. And it just doesn't have leave a smooth feeling. It's kind of like um, a roughness still. You still feel rough, but your lips are shiny. So I don't know how to explain, but I don't like it. I'm not going to be buying any more of these. I'm sorry. My lips are really dry. They need more moisture than this. So, whoops, sorry. Um, baby lips, I got excited about this. It does moisturize, but I just didn't like. The color is a bit much, so I should have gotten another shade. But this shade for dark-skinned women, I just don't like how it looks on my lips. I look like somebody who put on pink lipstick, and that's not cool with me, you know? So this definitely was a no-no. No to baby lips. Um, I tried the Ambi Fade Cream. I'm trying to take out the dark uh, dark marks from the acne. Because I use the, you know, the Witch Hazel and the... What is it called? Witch Hazel. Ooh, I'm having a memory thing here. Witch Hazel and Apple Cider Vinegar. And the, it's doing a great job. But I need something to fade out the dark spots that are left. So I tried this and this didn't do nothing. I tried this several weeks and I didn't see any improvement. So, boom, forget it. The other one I has were tinted moisturizer. This one was the CoverGirl G Smoothers, medium to dark. Did nothing for me. I just felt cakey, and I think I was breaking out too, and a little bit oily. So I didn't like the feeling of it. This one I kind of liked for a little bit, but it, uh, the Revlon Skin Lights Illuminator. It works okay, but I still don't like that cakey look when I get outside. I don't know. It's like an ashy almost look. Nah. The next one I have is the last one. A lot of people love Johnson's and they love the Johnson's baby oil and all that stuff. For me, I have dry skin. I'm sorry. None of this stuff worked for me. So I tried the Melt Away, the lavender and chamomile one and pff, fail. Um, this thing is just like water. I, it does nothing for my hands. So I stopped using it. So those are just some of the products that definitely do not work for me. I know everybody's different, um, but... These products do not work for me. So I'm going to have to either be stuck with them, get rid of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Any ideas, you guys? All right. So that's the video. I'll see you guys in another one.